can't hardly breathe. Toto? Toto? No need to be scared anymore, Toto. She ain't following us. I won't let her touch you, no how. Toto? 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 Oh, there you go. Did she hurt you? Oh, she tried to, didn't she? Oh, she must be the meanest old woman that ever was. Let's go tell Uncle Henry and Auntie Em. They'll take care of her. Come on, Toto. Aunt Em! Aunt Em! Aunt Em! Hello, Aunt Em! Dad! Seven, fifty-eight. Aunt Em, just look at what Miss Gulchy to Toto. She, Dorothy, please, return the cow. Fifty-eight. But really, Miss Gulchy hit him. Don't bother to now, Dorothy. You see, this old Eden baby has gone bad, and we're likely to lose a lot of our chicks.
wave a wand and make it disappear? You still could have tried. You, you said that like you were soft or something. I, I don't think of anything. I, I'm sorry. One mean old woman and you were scared of her. It's more fun place to interfere. Yo, worst of all, you stopped Toto from getting away. I just, just hate you. Don't say that, Dorothy. You made me feel terrible inside. Like my heart's all tore out. I don't care. I never want to see any of you again. Ever, ever, ever. Toto was the only friend I ever had. I got no one to talk to, no one to play with. And I'll never see him again as long as I live. Ever, ever, ever. Toto? Oh, there you are, Toto. You caught a wave from that horrible old woman. Oh, you wonderful dog. But she'll be coming back in a minute. We've got to get away. We've got to run. We need food for me and a boat for you, and then we're never, ever coming back. She doesn't care about me at all now, and I don't care about her. 
Well, that's not what the crystal said. They were going to kill Toto and she did nothing to stop them. I, I don't see anything about that. All I see is a woman who has done the best she can and misses you something terrible. What's she doing now? Well, why? Why, she's grabbing your heart. She's, she's falling on the bed. Oh, oh, you don't suppose she could be sick, do you? Oh, I have to get home right away. Come on, Toto. Come on. But, what, what's this? I thought you were coming along with me. Oh, no. I have to get home right away. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Safe journey. Better get the horse under cover. There's a storm blow, a storm will blow. A Poor little girl. I hope she gets home all right. <laughs>
with magic must be very practical. She wouldn't want them for magic. You stay out of this blender, or I'll fix you. Oh, fiddle battle, you have no power here. Be gone before someone drops a house on you as well. Very well, I'll find my time. And as for you, my fine lady, it's true I can't tend to you here and now as I'd like. But after a suitable period of mourning, I'll get those slippers and my revenge too. Crows. I 
Howdy, neighbor. They come from all around just to eat in my field. Howdy, scarecrow. And laugh in my face. <laughs> Sorry, I 
keep forgetting I'm not in Kansas anymore. Come on, Dorothy. You don't want those apples. Yeah. <laughs> Are you hinting my apples aren't what they ought to be? I'm just, I'm just saying she doesn't like little green worms. Probably have worms. Worms. Did he say we had worms? Of course you have worms. Worms. Caterpillars. Probably a whole bunch of wood last too. How dare you? Let's get them, girl. Oh, what is that? Come oh, back. Perhaps you could go back to the tinsmith and he could get you a new heart. 
Oh no, he ran out of business a long time ago. Ran out of tin. Oh. Well, why don't you come with us to see the Wizard of Oz? Suppose the wizard didn't give me one when we got there. Oh, he has to. He must. We've come such a long way already. Oh. Oh. You come that long? You've only just begun. <laughs> you, you're the one who put a spell on my ass. It certainly chopped you down to size, didn't it? And now you're helping the little lady along, are you, my fine gentleman? Well, you best stay out of my way, or I'll stop and match with you, Scarecrow. You, Tim Man, I'll use you for beehive. Oh, I'm not afraid of you. That just proves you don't have a brain. Allow me to educate you. Here, Scarecrow, want to play ball? Oh, oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> Fight your bum together if you want. I'll fight you with one. 
cowardly lion, I would. No, of course not. Well, that's awfully nice of you. My life has been simply unbearable. Even my family's disowned me. When I was just a little cub, my father brought me to the top of the mountains. He waved his paw around and said, son, one day, this will all be yours. <laughs> oh, my God, so terrified! What is that? I'm scared of heights! <laughs> well, the wizard will fix that thing. All right. Well, at least you'll be safe if I come with you. Why is that? No self-respecting animal will come anywhere near me. Said a lion, poor neurotic lion, to a miss who lives in you away. Oh, the Lord made me a lion, but the Lord forgot to make me brave. Then his tail began to curl and wave. Like a sad boy, me missing. What a fool to be a sissy without the bendy fur.
wizard says, go away. Go away? Well, but surely. He accepts all appeals. The wizard has spoken. Looks like we came a long way for nothing. Was, I was so happy. I thought I was on my way home. Auntie Emma was so good to me, and I never appreciated it. Running away and hurt her feelings. And now Professor Marvel says she made me sick, and she made me dying, and it's all my fault. I'll never forget myself. Never, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> so don't, don't cry anymore. I'll get you to see the wizard somehow. Oh, thank you! It's all right. I do any of myself. This way. This way. Step right up.
see why the puppets fail. Fairy and the autumn themselves should deliver the molasses little badly into my territory. But how to bring her here or before me? Wakings, wakings, how far?
trees have terrible, horrible bugs. But the bees and the breeze and the bats and the trees can do what the jitterbug does. So be careful of that rascal. Keep away from the jitterbug. The jitterbug. The bees and the breeze and the bats and the trees have terrible, horrible bugs. But the bees and the breeze and the bats.
witch of the wicked west. We melted her. Ah, you liquidated her, eh? <laughs> Very resourceful. And now we would like you to do what you promised us, if you please. Not so fast. Not so fast. I will have to give the matter a little thought. Go away and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But I want to go home now. You've had plenty of time already. Yeah. Do not allow the wrath of the great on. I said go and come back tomorrow. There's someone in there. I said go. Oh, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. The great and powerful Oz has spoken. Who are you? Why, I, I am the great and powerful wizard of Oz. You are? Uh, I don't believe you. I'm afraid it is true. There is no other wizard except for me. Oh, you humbug. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what I am. A humbug. Well, you are a very bad man. I'm a very good man. Just, just a very bad wizard. What about the heart you promised in, man? Well, I'm a scarecrow. Why, anybody can have a brain. There's a very mediocre commodity. Back where I come from, Men go to universities to become great thinkers. And when they come out, they think deep thoughts and, and with no more brains than you've got. But they've got one thing you haven't got, a diploma. Therefore, by the virtue vested in me through the universities, committedness, you purpleless, I know, I hereby confer upon you the honorary degree of THD. THD? Yes, why, well, that's, that's Doctor of Thinkology. The sum of the square root of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the third side. Oh, joy, rapture, I've got a brain! How can I ever thank you? Well, you can. Uh. <laughs> and as for you, my fine friend, you are under the unfortunate delusion that simply because you run away from danger that you have no courage. You are confusing courage with wisdom. Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes, and once a year they take their fortitude out of the mothballs and parade it down the main street of the city. And they've got no more courage than you've got. But they've got one thing you have, a medal. Therefore, for notorious conduct, extraordinary valor, and conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I hereby award you with the triple cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Oh, shucks, folks, I'm speechless! <laughs> and as for you, my galvanized friends, you want a heart. You, you do not know how lucky you are to not have one. For hearts will never be practical until they can be made unbreakable. But uh, I still want one. <laughs> yes. Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes. Or we have men who do nothing all day but good deeds. They're called fellow, fellow good deed doers. And their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they've got one thing you haven't got, a testimony. Therefore, in consideration of your kindness, I take pleasure this time in awarding you with a small token of your esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. What's it? It's Hicks. Read what my medal says! Read what it says! Awarding for courage! Ain't it the truth! Ain't it the truth! <laughs> oh, they're all so wonderful. Hey, what about Dorothy? Uh, yeah, Dorothy's next. Yes, Dorothy. Oh, I don't think he has anything in that bag for me. Well, you have forced me into a cataclysmic decision, my dear. The only way to get Dorothy back to Kansas is for me to take her myself. Oh, can you? Will you? But are you a clever enough wizard to manage it? <laughs> You're coming to my quick, child. I'm an old Kansas man myself. Premier, premier balloons par excellence for the Miracle Wonderland Carnival Company. Until one day, well, for, by, well, until one day while performing spectacular feats of strat stratospheric skin, my balloon failed to return to the fair. It did? Were you frightened? <laughs> frightened? You're talking to a man who was laughed at the face of death, chuckled at catastrophe, Chuckled at doom and sneered at catastrophe. Why, well, I was petrified. But then the wind changed, and the balloon began to descend into the heart of this noble city, where I was instantly proclaimed Oz, the first wizard deluxe. 
the looks from the French word pertaining to luxury. Yes, but there were a few luxuries that went with the job. But I took it anyway, retaining my balloon against the event of a quick getaway. And it is in my conveyance and ready for flight. We shall return to the land of Eplerbalus and Noon. <coughs> Step this way, Dorothy. <laughs>
I bid her bring a blanket. She's got a lump on her head the size of an ostrich egg, but the skin ain't broken. Hello, Oz. Oz? My first name's Chester. <laughs> but you can call me whatever you like. <laughs> Uncle Henry, you were the guard. Well, I'm guarding you now, honey. I'll see you come no more harm. She all right? There was a moment there when I thought we lost her. But I did leave you. That's just the trouble. And I tried to come back for days and days. Sounds like a bad dream. But it wasn't a dream. You remember me, your old pal Zeke? Lion? No. What about your pal Ear Hickory? You couldn't forget my face, could you? Of course not. But where's Scarecrow? Scarecrow? Who the heck is Scarecrow? Here's the blanket you asked for, Mr. Gale. What happened to all of your stuffing? Stuffing? <laughs> What'll happen to the field mouse in your stomach? Oh, you gave me more than a field mouse in here. You gave me a whole sack of kittens. Dorothy! Aunt Em! You're safe! Thanks to you, Aunt Em, you showed me how to use the slippers! <laughs> Hearing from that old biddy till her leg gets out of that plaster. <laughs> you mean total safe? 